Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Deep Dive into the Archives. We're looking for something on the Divine Syndicate. If you don't know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, you should probably not be starting with this episode. You should go back and uh, make some sense of things for yourself. Uh, Scandal at the Divine Syndicate. Scandal. The Divine Syndicate Club. The Divine Syndicate Club, followers of the Gold King Truin, situated on 48 Groven, Grovesner, whatever street, Charlatan Road, protectors of plants and more particularly trees, are currently the subject of an administrative investigation. The leaders of this organization are suspected of financial malfeasance. Malfessonance? It may be that this investigation will lead to charges of judiciary. Meanwhile, many voices have risen high against this inspection, denouncing the state. In fact, this private organization, which has given as its goal the defense and protection of nature, and which incorporates many persons of influence, including political representatives of the opposition party. Here it is. And here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. Aha. Uh -huh. Time to get in the car and go check out the Divine Syndicate. That's good. Because there's... I don't know. The whole Martin Hamish... Hammerish? Hamish? Is it Hamish? Martin... Uh, yeah, Martin Hamish. He seems super guilty. Well, there's just some clues that this I'm. This place is beautiful, Holmes. Confused. Its atmosphere about. is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone who could help us. Right. If it's so cut and dry, and it's just Martin Hamish, then, then there must be. There's, like, there's just other clues that that's just completely ignoring. Hello. You're not going to talk to me, are you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Shul... Shh. I am exalting the sap. A while can you wait. From the trace of elements and, moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism, it depends. Therefore, please... Mind my gravitropism. It's balance. Do not disturb. Uh, okay. Disturbed is most definitely the word. There. Completed is the symbiosis. Welcome you are. To introduce myself, I shall. I am the Green Grand Mystic. The... The Green Grand Mystic? Yeah, Doctor himself. Strange. Himself. This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am. Good. We should like to take a look around, to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. It is a school of anastomosis. The Divine Scholastic Syndicate for Vegetation Veneration and Meditation. You may say, the Divine Syndicate. Glory to the Eukaryotic. Only true devotees, those whose hearts are ready to spermatophize in sharing of knowledge, are permitted to physically enter our vegetable kingdom and its wisdom. This guy's a and little nutty. Permitted, you must earn it. Yes. Okay. Hmm. We visited Kew Gardens, and we found your symbols on their flower pots. Coincidence, I am thinking. They would scavenge our refuse. It would not surprise me. It was merely an observation. Uh, before we tell him we're ready to take on the trials, uh, let's get a feel for this guy. Fingertip calluses and an K 
chemical practice. <gasps> oh, that complicates things. Green Grand Mystic, we are ready to become devotees and gain access to your temple. What is the name of our Lord, our God King? I know this. Our God King's name is Triwan, Green Grand Mystic. Oh, la, good, good, I like you. Here is the holy key to the wisdom place. That was Holy it. Can you make one of you so wish? Thank you so much. How do we? That's... I pray you to taste our fertilizer substance. From the burdens of life, it helps to free. Uh, but of course. Oh. Raw sap, it is called. It is near the entrance. Uh... Well, we will leave you to your meditation. Wow. That was, it was really difficult to gain access. Bong. Can I hit this? I really want to hit this. No, no, no. I'll deal with that in a sec. I want to hit this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it let me. Pot, please. Peace. Broken pieces. Something hidden. Well, all right. Let's investigate. A fragment of a flower pot. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. These are the same pots. No, they're not. The Kew Gardens symbol. What the? What the hell? Are they just like. They just. Are they just having a pissing match? They're just stealing from each other. This is a weird tree. Good God. I'm pretty sure if I had owned property that had a tree like this, I would also start a religion. You know? I don't see how they had any other choice. But to embark on a mystic journey of, of treeness. Who the hell is that? Some other guy that knew the name of the god. They're just giving out keys left, right, and center. Oh, take some drugs. That should be the raw sap that the Green Grand Mystic spoke of. I think it's cocaine, actually, but... Hmm, this is rather delicious and of an excellent quality. My word, Holmes. Their sap is like a form of cocaine. That's what I said. That's why it's so good. Look at us. I ain't no coke addict. I am just, I have, my eyes have been open to this crazy religion. Uh, beneficiaries. I don't recognize any of these names. The list of plant friends and benefactors. Lawyers, well-known manufacturers, political leaders. Okay. Mm-hmm. Creepy. This must be Triwan, the Divine Syndicate's god. Oh, because it's the tree. Right, so there's, and there's the crazy tree outside. Which must be like the god reincarnated or something. Uh, that's, that's kind of Caterpillars. damning they evidence. They are raised as food for certain plants. Let's take them. They're raised as food? For the plants eat the caterpillars? What? That's creepy. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Okay. Well. I mean, you let me open the cage and look. Right. So whose fault really is it? A tropical, tropical plant. plant. Nothing, nothing of interest. interest. A, A tropical, tropical plant. plant. Nothing, nothing of interest. interest. See, I knew. I knew you would say that. These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. I shall take them. Uh, yeah. Thieving bastards. A 
tropical, tropical plant, plant, nothing of interest. A tropical plant, nothing of interest. All right. I'll go some deductions here. Deadly plants were stolen. Suspicious ingredients? No, not. Oh, no. Uh, set up the alkaloid from a chemical laboratory in the caterpillars to perform an experiment with deadly plants. Okay, I will. I'm gonna go talk to this weird guy, though. This rando who picked the wrong time to meditate. You came to make a donation? Glory to tree one! Okay, pal. Get a hobby. This door is locked, but I can try to open it. Uh, it's gonna be one of these complicated ones again. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, start with that. Then, I think pretty obviously that. Then, that. Uh, and then this needs to rotate like that. Oh. Um, oh, gosh. Like that. Oh. There we go. Those aren't so bad. I would, like, play a whole game that was just those, you know? Like a mobile, mobile app. It's kind of a fun... These instruments are used for smoking opium. <laughs> so, I mean, the fact that I think they're crazy and they're definitely also all on drugs is not helping their image. That would be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. It is quite a laboratorious setup. This substance is an alkaloid, the same as in the bottle we found in the bushes at Kew Gardens. Perfect, Watson. We can begin our experiment. Right here? This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. We're gonna do it right here? No. No, we gotta go home and do it. Yeah. That's kinda what I figured. I do wanna... Should we go chat with that guy again? Ask him about the the Q Garden pots and maybe his drug addiction. Do you have friends at Q Gardens? None. Not worthy there. Uh, symbol on the broken pot. Q Gardens symbol. Branded flower pots. Keys for... yeah. Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search. Sacrilege. Shut up. No, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago. And we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us. Were you involved? No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Uh, their director. Dump, I believe. Done. Yes, that's, that's what I said. He borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green fly infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. 
so we went in and saved them. I see. So, if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means... Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. I beg your pardon. And yet, you took all of the exotic plants from the stand. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. Uh, so it's not Well, sold. we will leave you to your meditation. Uh, and the missing deadly plants. Okay, deadly plants stolen. Uh, the Divine Syndicate stole all plants from the exhibition, including the deadly species they could have used in order to do. Stole all but the deadly plants from the exhibition. Let's go with partial theft for now. Okay, what if I say they did all of the theft? Then things happen. The Divine Syndicate planned the death of Montague Dunn. They had been involved in a dispute over Dunn with stolen plants. They are religious fanatics. But... I don't know. You know. We're talking about murder here. And that is... That's ignoring even more evidence than my Martin Hamish theory. No, I think they I think they just have a, a petty little pissing match that, you know, they're like stealing plants back and forth, but I don't think they're I don't think they're like I don't think it's a murder ordeal. I they're, imagine that one of these plants would be thing. capable of releasing a toxic vapor. I need to find out exactly how it could be done. I shall begin now. Watson, if you are at all optimistic to have dinner this evening, then I'd recommend that you put on the gas mask. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, oh, okay. That's the one I'm currently working on, I guess. No reaction. But I'm guessing... Oh, what about the top? No reaction. Okay. No reaction. I'm just stabbing the same spot every time. Okay. What if I give you some caterpillar? Well, I hope I have a lot of... A lot of those. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Ooh. It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. Ah, uh, okay, this is what we're going to do. Watch. The pin, pin is not enough. So we're going to soak it with an alkaloid, and we're going to put a caterpillar on it, and that's going to make the other plant attack it. It appears to open. Yeah. And then that'll piss it off something fierce. It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what see just just that though. Um Should I really soak it? Oh no 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 that thing's it gonna appears Okay, to okay, 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 okay. So no. You and you and then you No. It closed again. I I wonder Okay. Uh well, let's 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 play with this. No, put it back. A prickly plant. Okay. 
My word, it shot a spike at me after I stabbed it with a pin. I imagined that its reaction would be ferocious if I increased the strength of my attack. Probably. I don't, what do I have for increasing a strength though? This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. And how does it fare with... Oh my god! Okay, that was, uh... Aggressive. Uh, I have an idea. Oh, what a big baby. It appears to have fallen inactive after being disturbed. Okay, it really doesn't like being touched. This plant becomes in. Uh, are you hungry? Even though you've been eating this whole time. Want a caterpillar? I oh. find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. Okay, so here's the plan. This guy is gonna get drenched in that. It appears to open. Yeah. And then... And then... It's gonna go here. And... No. Uh... Yeah. No, no, no. Just like that. Put it back. And then... Yeah, there we go. Toxic gas. We're scientists. With spores. Extraordinary. We are scientists. At least I am. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. Our suspects will be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. Yes. Um, so, um, deadly precision, missing deadly plants. The Divine Syndicate left the plants at Kew Gardens in order to murder Montague on a later date. Somebody had stolen the deadly plants before the Divine Syndicate were able to. Okay. So, so far, all of the... All of the conclusive clues that we're finding are pointing towards the Divine Syndicate. I'm not sure they have any involvement at all. Unless we find out that... Unless we find out that one of our three suspects has some ties with the Divine Syndicate. In which case... You know, that might... That might... Push us over the edge. I don't know. Especially if it's this guy. Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. Uh. What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly, I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. 
Why were you late? Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. No, 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 no. Why were you late? Because you were over at the 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 Divine Syndicate, huh? That's what I want to know. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, lyce uh, something or or Lear uh, Pontus or. No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. I don't think it's him Did at all. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Uh... And about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. So, Mr. Hamish is lying to us. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White, what were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at ten minutes past ten. Yep. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room, and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh, my God. Okay, so I think Albert... Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Albert doesn't want to do any of this botanical stuff. He he felt oppressed under his father's thumb, but not so much as to kill the guy. And he, he now realizes in his father's absence that, um, you know, that he just wanted what was best for him. The Divine Syndicate, there, I think it's, there's this petty rivalry that's happening. I don't know what's going on with this fire. How does this fire... Man, I... Well, I don't know. He's just burning the evidence or something, I guess. Um, there's a fire over there, too? Or is that... No, it's part of this. Okay. Um, I think there's this, like, petty pissing match going on, but I don't... I don't think they've murdered anyone. Mrs. White, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on with this woman. But Martin is religiously lying to us. He just lied about... He said he was late, and he wasn't here until 10.30 where now Albert has given two accounts of, uh, of things that, he, that Martin was doing prior to that time. Let's see if, if her story supports that. Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can, but there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. All right. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could, for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. Yeah, okay. But you say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Uh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, I think I already listened uh, Thank to it. you, miss. Didn't I? Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. All right. Inhaling the spores. Exiting the room. Oh, God. Knocked over the statue, maybe? Was drunk. Probably drunk. Was locked in. I'm very confused. 
When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Through the ventilator shaft. Panicking and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiments on the ventilation system. Absolutely. Place the caterpillars in there. The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. Do 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 do. Finally, the ventilation system. But I'm going the wrong way entirely, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. That's okay. It's okay, Watson. Watson, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the long, the long route. Is that the? Yeah. Okay, he's there. And there are the offices. Okay. I see. The ventilation system carries all the way along this way. Yeah, da 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 da. Uh, turn it on. Trans. Wait, what? Off. The power is on. The engine has started. The ventilation system is working. All right, Watson. What happened? What's the outcome, brother? sister or wait where, where oh they all went home I was like whoa where'd Mrs. White go I almost uh, I almost lost my cool on her there what happened Watson what I there must have been a smarter way to get in there Sorry, Watson, I got I, I got lost. Not familiar with the the gardens. The layout of the gardens. So what we find. Now we need to see if we can activate the fans from Mr. Hamish's and Albert's space. Oh Is there a smarter way of doing this? Hamish's space, you can definitely see. You can definitely see that room from it. So that kind of paints him in a in a bad light, you know? Because his office is in here. And from here, we can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. And I'm guessing this switch. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. Uh. How? No, no. Please open. We can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. Comes through. Uh, and Albert's space was in where? It was in the seed house.
Um... Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. Now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out by activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. But Hamish didn't have keys and the seed house was previously locked. Ventilation used. Deadly precision. Martin Hamish had the opportunity to stimulate the deadly plants in the colonial collection room. As a biologist, he would have understood the technicality of how to do this. Martin Hamish could be the killer. He had the opportunity to steal the Divine Syndicate plans and plants and stimulate them from his workspace directly after he had locked Montague Dune inside the colonial room. Effect an arrest. Could be him. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Uh, okay. Why? What are we going to do at Scotland Yard? Huh. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please do all three. Something, something's not clicking about this case. For me, anyways. Uh, it definitely seems like it's Martin, but... The, he didn't have keys. I'm kind of hung up on the fact that I'm not sure how he would have accessed that spot. Anyways, until next time.